Today we're going to take a Blanco tequila. We're going to turn it into a Reposado tequila. We're going to turn it into an Añejo tequila. We're going to turn it into an extra Añejo tequila. But wait, we're also going to turn it into an extra, extra Añejo tequila. Keep watching and find out how we do it. Welcome to Aged. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a bottle, a full bottle of Hornitos Plata, it's about uh, $22-ish or so. We're going to convert this into an extra, extra Añejo. But between each of these stages, I'm going to take out samples from the oak bottle. 12 hours later, Reposado. At the 24-hour mark, Añejo. At the 48-hour mark, extra Añejo. At the 72-hour mark, extra, extra Añejo. And we're gonna do that because the oak bottle, it's going to age things about 60 times faster than using a standard barrel. And the reason is, there's a ton of surface area on this bottle. So, small batches into this bottle, taking this one bottle, putting it in here, there's so much fresh white American oak touching your Blanco tequila that it's gonna to start to take on those properties relatively quickly. And when I say relatively, I mean wicked quickly. So let's start the process now, come back in 12 hours, come back in 24, 48, and 72, and see the differences, and then at the end, we'll taste the results. I love results. Reposados still work great in a margarita. Once you get up to about the Añejo, you're getting to the sipping level. Although I like to use an Añejo in a tequila, uh, like a martini style tequila. I also like to use Añejos in my margaritas. Extra Añejos, extra, extra Añejos, great sippers. Done. That bottle holds 750 milliliters. It's really convenient that a bottle about this size fits in a bottle like that size. It's not convenient, it was on purpose. And we're gonna let this age and see what happens. That's the best part. I love results. So before we go through and do the full tasting across the line of ages, here's just something to consider when picking out different types of tequila of different types of ages. When tequila's aged, the first stage is usually rested in steel casks, so you're not getting any aged quality. That's typically your Blanco. As you move up the age brackets to Reposados, Añejos, Extra Añejos, you're adding a level of oak to it. A few different key factors often play into this. First off, it is completely legal for a tequila manufacturer to rechar old oak barrels to get a darker color and get a little bit more rich flavor. Some manufacturers even use caramel color to either keep the colors consistent across large lines of product or to make them look older than they really are. In this case, the full age is coming out of the oak bottle. So let's go check out the results. So a bit about the process that I used to sample these. In the first 12 hours, I took four ounces out of the oak bottle. 24 hours, I took four ounces out of the oak bottle. 48 hours, I took four ounces of the oak bottle. 72 hours, I took four ounces out of the oak bottle. And then I left the remaining in here. So we're at about the 115 hour mark at this point. So I'd like to see what that looks like as well. So let's take some of these samples, shall we? First is our Reposado. Here we go. So the Reposado is lightly aged. So this is 12 hours in oak. It has a very sweet, like salty vanilla flavor. What the Repo offers is something very similar in flavor to the original Blanco tequila, which from a Hornitos brand is, is a fairly exceptional product for the price point, yet it still, it curbs it out a little bit, adds just a nice hint of oak, keeps that light body flavor, still has some of that nice salt peppery tequila flavor, a little agave note, but just curbed a little bit with some oak and some nice fresh vanilla flavor. Next, let's work on the Añejo. Añejo represents an older age tequila. It's got more time sitting there seeping up some of that oak property. Still has a nice sweet vanilla aroma to it though. It's much more mellow. Has a little bit of that fresh white oak flavor to it. Not necessarily as much as say a bourbon, but it definitely plays that line of Añejo. It brings in just a little bit more of that age quality, a little bit heavier in flavor, maybe even a little bit of a smoky note to it. It's just kind of at the back end of the flavor. So let's move on to the extra Añejo. An extra Añejo in tequila standards is anything aged over three years. I believe it was a classification that's put in around 2006. So you're gonna get a product that's definitely got more richer color to it um, and, and has more of that aged property because it's it's been sitting longer. All the edges are now curved out. It's definitely, it's it's become its own product. 
The vanilla notes aren't as prominent as they were in the, the Reposado, which is kind of strange. There's still some salty uh, agave flavor, some white oak, a little bit of back end smokiness, but not too, too bad. Definitely shows more of a quality of a sipper. Now let's do the extra, extra Añejo, which is basically uh, anything after an extra Añejo, we just tacked on extra and you've got yourself a product. I don't think there's any legal guidelines or standardizations for anything above this. Uh, extra Añejo is pretty much anything after three years. I'm sure somebody will come up with something um, if it hasn't already. Definitely has a, de uh, a very copper gold color going on. Looks more reminiscent of a rum. It has the smell of white, fresh white oak in it with a little mix of agave, salt, a little pineapple. This has been sitting in that oak bottle for 72 hours. It still keeps a lot of its tequila properties, but it kind of feels like its own product at this point. I'd say that's, that's either a sipper or somebody who likes a, a very um, tequila heavy margarita or anything in that kind of realm. This is, this is around 115 hours. Definitely has a dark gold color, closer to that of, say, uh, a whiskey. Really nice, sweet, caramel candy-like smell to it. This now has taken on a lot more of the properties of what I would think of, of a bourbon or a rye. It even has a little bit of a dryness. It has that, the, the oak quality is, is, I would say, if not prominent, really close. You've got a nice barrel flavor in there. Uh, it's just, it tastes like this has been resting in oak for ages. The sweetness has kind of come down a little bit. Some of that nice caramel aroma that you're getting isn't as prominent in the taste, yet it's still at the end of the day, and that quarter half, that last quarter, has that fresh agave flavor. So you're keeping your tequila, but you're bringing in a completely different perspective on oak. My suggestion, age this for 100 plus hours if you're huge into tequila and you really like to explore different variations of tequila. The best part of aging in 100 hours is you don't have to do anything. You just leave it, it sits. If you're ready to experiment, head over to oakbottle.com. You can pick up the aged book, you can pick up an oak bottle and start your investigation into awesome aged tequila. That is how you get aged.